Storm Center, meteorologist Thomas Geeboy with weather. I think today is fair to say that it was marvelous outside earlier this morning, seeing temperatures in the low 60s today, rebounding those temperatures into the mid and upper 80s. But for late August, I think we'll take that getting rid of these 90 degree conditions and the local radar nice and sunny. Haven't had to worry about any clouds or rain for that matter. And even though we haven't had the rain cooled air temperatures, keeping in check temperatures into the upper 80s. We haven't seen anyone get into the low 90s today. Unfortunately, that trend will continue will break as we go throughout the next couple of days. Here's a look at your headlines for the next seven days. We are well, currently act, watch, watching the tropics, tropical storm Erica churning in the Atlantic. More cool air on the way for tonight, but as we head into Friday and head into the weekend, that muggy air will once again return. But for right now, dew point still into the mid 50s. You can see dry air stretching all the way down to Mobile. Mobile even seeing a dew point at 56 degrees. That's going to lead to this nice cool night. But like I said, you can see that muggy air towards Jacksonville. That's going to retrograde back to the east or to the west, excuse me. And that's what we'll start seeing and going into the coming days. But let's go ahead and head down the tropics. The latest on Tropical Storm Erica. Earlier this morning, we saw a little strengthening, but as you can see, as we've gone through this afternoon, kind of losing itself just a little bit, encountering more dry air. So the convection not looking as good. However, as we go forward in time, you can notice this dry air, air here, but once it gets past San Juan and gets near the Bahamas, looks like it's going to be entering a window where we could see potential for some development and turn Erica into a hurricane. So we'll continue to monitor Erica. So as we begin to track Hurricane Erica. This is the latest forecast going right now. It takes it up the peninsula of Florida. A lot of the models agreeing that it's going to head up the east coast of Florida. However, there are a couple outliers in the spaghetti models that do want to take this into the Gulf of Mexico, so we're going to have to continue to watch it. It's all going to depend on the speed of Erica. The faster it moves, the best chance, the better the chance it will be to move up the east coast and stay away from the wire grass. But transitioning closer to home, we're going to keep this dry air around for throughout the next 24 hours to 36 hours. You can see as we go throughout your day tomorrow, more dry air, but notice as we go towards Friday. We're going to start to see that green near Florida make its way back up to the northwest. So it looks like this weekend we're going to see a return chance for rain. So as we don't need the umbrella as we go through Friday, but we will most likely heading into the weekend and that humid air is going to stick around throughout at least the next few days after that. But low temperatures tomorrow morning going to be a nice morning once again, going to be a little bit on the warmer side. So those cold nature people might not need those light sweaters going to go with the low of 64 degrees in Dothan. Don't have to worry about any rain tomorrow morning. Skycast for tomorrow though, we'll see temperatures slightly warmer, 91 degrees, still a 0% chance of rain. The wind will switch from the east northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. If you're headed to the beach tomorrow, it should be a beautiful beach day once again. Just a moderate chance for rip current. That's the only thing you're going to really have to worry about. Not going to be the best sailing day only light and variable winds but mostly smooth on the bays if you're going to do some fishing but here's a look at your seven day forecast temperature is going to be in the low 90s for the foreseeable future i think rain chances are going to spike as we go throughout the day on saturday they'll slowly begin to go down as we go into sunday the uncertainty though lies into next week it all depends on where tropical storm erica goes but right now only looks like about a 20 percent chance of rain for us that morning walk at about six o'clock this morning was delightful mm -hmm. it sure was i was up that early just to just to feel the weather it was mm -hmm. awesome all right thank you sir you're welcome when wave land